knew that you could use the Nikon Z30 as a webcam. <laughs> I sure didn't. Let's see how it works together. A couple weeks ago, one of you asked if the Nikon Z30 as a webcam was easy to use. I said, what? Wait a minute. A webcam? I didn't even think about it. Well, that does make sense. Nikon does advertise it as a streaming camera, so there has to be a webcam type format. But I really hadn't paid much attention since that's not my normal form of content creation. But here we are, so I'm gonna see how it works as a webcam because it may become useful. Let's get this camera set up and see how easy it really is. All right, so I decided to watch a couple of videos to make sure I'm doing this correctly, and I will link those videos down in the description. First things first, you need to fully download the Nikon webcam utility app onto whatever computer you plan on using the webcam with. I will leave a link down in the description to make this part super easy. Next, you will need the USB-C to USB-A um, cord that came with the camera to charge it. You could also use a USB-C to USB-C if you have a Mac or other computer that doesn't have a USB-A port. Plug your camera in and then plug it into the computer and turn it on. I am plugging mine into a docking station which is connected to my MacBook. Then you open up your app of choice. I'm using Zoom today. So within Zoom, you click New Meeting. Then click the arrow next to Start Video down at the bottom and select Nikon Webcam Utility. And now you should see the image coming from your camera. It is that easy. <laughs> now, please keep in mind that sound does not come from the camera itself. It's not supported. So you will need to use the computer's built-in microphone and speakers or plug in some external options. Pros. So I really like having my MacBook docked and closed and use a big external monitor. It makes it much easier to edit videos. Using it as a webcam setup allows me to do Zoom meetings, video chat with family, and even potential future collaborations. All without having to open my actual computer. I can use the presets that I have already set up for this filming space. So where I would use my webcam is exactly where I film. Therefore, the light temperature and the color settings are already set for this room.
cons. Sound is not supported, so I will have to either use what is built in or I will have to plug in yet another device to my computer. The temperature concerns. So my camera periodically overheats if I film for a long period of time continuously and especially if I am plugged in charging while filming. So I think with using this as a webcam, that concern would pop up regularly. And if you want optimal quality, there are some third-party devices so that you can change frame rate and your level of definition and all of that. And I don't wanna to have to buy anything extra. Um, I'm not using it as a streaming device. I don't online game, things like that. So it's not a big deal to me, but if you're wanting to use it as such, it may be a concern. My overall thoughts. So I think that this would be a good option in a pinch, but I think you would get better quality straight out of the box with an actual webcam. I also didn't like that I had to download another piece of software to my computer just in order to use it. I do plan on using the webcam over the next couple of months, see what I think of it long term, see if the temperature ends up being a concern or if I'm just overthinking things. If you like today's video, you should watch this one where I share a Nikon Z30 secret setting that completely changed how I filmed. Until next time.